Well, I'm still ill from Austria. That's not a lie. Now we're rocking, we're in Breckenridge. We have three days of practice already. This is the fourth day of practice for me. And then tomorrow is the event, which is, that seems like quite a long time. Yeah, the big show is tomorrow, finally. Um, but it's good. Gonna go warm up, rip this piece for a little bit. Um, and yeah, head down to the course, have a little bit more practice and rock on. We're pretty privileged at Dutor, you know, and, and competitions like this, because, you know, this is day four of practice. We've had plenty of time to get used to the course. We've been even more fortunate because the weather's been good. So I think the vibe is pretty relaxed. Pretty much everybody knows what they're going to do. They've pieced together their run. Um, certainly took me a little while on that first day or two. Um, but now, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, what I do now is just go and get used to the course as much as I possibly can. You know, um, do the setup tricks for the tricks I'm going to do, maybe do one or two of the tricks I'm going to do. The big tricks are crazy and big and no guitar and everything like that. But then you've got like smaller tricks, like basic versions of that trick, like help you prepare for the takeoff or the landing or the transition between the jumps. Like if you have to go and switch, you have to look over that shoulder, something like that. Um, it's really important to me to n know the course inside and out. You know, today's speed's going to be different to yesterday, to the day before, to tomorrow's. If there's wind, what does it look like? What does it feel like? How much does it actually affect this course? All those things. Rails is exactly not like riding a bike. <laughs> Rails, you need to do and do and do and do. Like the, the snowy landings are still holding, so it's really good. I'm into it. When you don't grab, you go like a serious spaghetti. That was weak. Oh, I'm coming down again after that session. That's all right. That's how it goes, isn't it? So sick. I got so fired up, and the rail's been in the afternoon every day, so the shady. Well, and and I've burnt all my energy because I haven't been feeling very good, you know, on the jumps. And then today I only got three runs on the jumps, and then I went managed to go to the rails with actually some energy. So I'm really stoked. Right. You'd never find it. <laughs> Check it out. Look. What are you up to now? Uh, well, we're doing this. This is there's three different things that NBC are doing. So there's like cutaways before my runs and stuff, mm -hmm. and then different things that they're putting on telly. And then yesterday we filmed a thing. Oh, yeah. X Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't mention ESPN in here. <laughs> it's kind of sick. And then tomorrow we go. Mm. What's up, Lou? <laughs> You good? I'm fine, the jump's banging, everything's good, it's... Ugh. I'm not awake and I feel like so hazy. Still ill, you know, in my tummy. It'll be sweet. It'll be sweet. It's been a while. I haven't done Octogram in ages. 
just got it only me. comes out for the comps. Yeah, Henrik. Yes, sir, we'll see. How are you feeling? You good? I feel good. I just broke one of my buckles, though, so I had to switch boot with Niklas. Switch boots? One. Yeah. That's outrageous, really. One size bigger. Have you seen that? Have you got the same Mate. your liner in there? My liner, but this one is like one size bigger. Damn, do you want to fight to get in on that? Sure. Henrik. Uh, yeah, I just came down and I was like, it was like so loose and I guess I broke it like on the inside. I don't know. Oh, right. Damn. You're, well, a, you're an animal, bro. Wind comes in hard. Like, big time. Yeah. Well, it's been dead all week and now it's just a bit uphill. You can feel it. It's inconsistent when the weather is consistent. So today there's a little bit of wind and it's very, very inconsistent. <laughs> nah, but I, I don't really mind. I'm really stoked on my rails. Just land. The main thing about this now is just grabbing the 16 all the way. Because <coughs> I did a couple smaller jump and you know when you panic, you let go a bit early and just wrap. Just don't do that. So easy. Sounds easy, yeah. yeah. It is easy. Yeah, just grab it on 16 the whole way. It's that easy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's the only bit of the run that I'm like really concentrating on. Like the wind's picking up. That's something. What am I missing? Oh, there's a busy. We're on a 10 minutes delay. 12 10 start. 10 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Not standing for this. Okay, just about 10 minutes, just, just in time for the wind to get up even more. Yep. Oh, it's been literally dead all week and now the tent's going to blow up. Bean wizard? Definitely, please. One magic bean. Thank you. We are? Uh, they're giving us a hot lap because just to waste more time so the wind can pick up, you know? Thank you so much. See you here today at Brick and Ridge Mountain Resort, Colorado. For the Dew Tour men's slope style event. And the wind is picking up just a tad. And it's a downhill wind, so the boys are going a little big. Comps are funny, man. You ride in conditions that are not what you would normally ride in. But uh, it shows how tough these guys are. I mean, we're out here doing it. These jumps are firm. It is December in Colorado. I promise you, these landings are firm. Round two, baby, run it up. No, I think it's gonna be like, it's not gonna hit 90s, but it's gonna be 88. Oh! 88. Danny? Rock and roll. I guess his home Sheffield dry slope training area actually burned yeah. down recently. So James Woods, you know, probably throwing up some throwing some ashes around the world to basically just let the world know that you know England's here to stay. It's one of those things that uh, a good skier can literally come from anywhere. And James, unfortunately, going down right there in an unusual scenario. You good, man? Yeah, I got a bit winded, but I just got gusted by the wind. And I just, you know, like when your stomach just sinks, you know. But I'm, I'm alright. Yeah, See you guys in here. Hey, good land, perfect. Try to get it. 15.67 telling Tina Dixon it was not him, it was the wind. Well, fortunately for him, the wind looking quite mild. Lovely switch left side, double cork 1260. That is not his natural direction of spinning. Huge right side, double cork 1620. Now looking over the right shoulder, switch dub 10 octo, his bread and butter trick. And I think he did exactly what any legendary competitor would be want to do and that's to put down a run that's going to give him a score he can build upon in the rail section yeah i think honestly i mean i'm i'm, I'm in seventh but considering teal's run who's in eighth right now i think i got a little bit hooked up but 
just just because of my first landing and my last takeoff, but I can improve on that, you know. Um, but it is nice to put one down. But I do need to do it again and better if I'm gonna have any chance in the rails, you know, to keep a score. It's nice to land at 16 properly. Went full banana mode, but hold, held on, which I, that's, I said that is the goal, just hold on, because it's a bit of a roller coaster that trick. Eighth place with an 87, but that could all go away. Remember, it's three runs, only the best score counts. Speaking of best scores, it's American Alex Hall who has that best score with a 94. And remember, he hasn't even taken his third and final jump as of yet. What's it coming in backwards? Hard over the shoulder. Switch double court, 1260, locks it in. Now over the right. It's natural direction of spinning. Big old dub 16. Gorgeous stuff right there as he comes into the bottom. Oh, gigantic. Switch dub octo grab. That was definitely better. It's a crazy format. Like, I never really thought about it like this last time because la the, the one time they did this before, I won the jumps. And I was pretty, like, elated from that. You know, I didn't really think about it. And... You know, now I'm like, okay, I got six points to make up on that man. It's kind of cool. It's, it's, it's way more like, feels way more strategic now. But at the end of the day, it's not. He just got shredded. It's good. He, he's still not wearing a jacket. It's warm today, though. I'm like too hot. You look like Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. Afro daddy. Yeah, you do. Yours sticks up. Mine just gets all nasty. <laughs> What do you do? What do you do? Look forward to it. Jesus. That's incredible on that round. Alrighty. Nearly time. Yeah. And he is sitting on a pretty decent score from jumps in 88 loop, looking to build upon it. How's Woodsy? Rail program. Strong to quite strong. Switch 270 on and onto the rail, the, excuse me, the wall ride. That is solid and, and a good thought. I mean, athletes that are going to utilize different parts of the course gives the judges something else to judge. Switch tails 450 right there from James Woods looking really good and then hops up onto the rainbow rail, right side 270, taking it down along that. A great first run for Woods. What it? Give me a little shimmy. Give me a couple ladies. Give me a little Just do it. Thank you. His first run gave him a 73-3, but I don't know if the judges responded really the way we thought they would because he took a different course, tried to show him something different. Indeed, we'll see if he switches things up a little bit. It's great that he's utilizing the wall ride because it's a standout feature. It's a little bit different. Evan McKechnie benefited a lot from utilizing that feature. Coming in switch, we'll see if he takes it up a little bit higher on the wall ride. He does. Switch 180 on, 180 off. Coming in switch to this next feature. Switch 450, cleaning that rail. Such a difficult transfer to make. Nicely done by James Woods. Up on and a 450 out. Definitely going to see an improvement here just based on what we just witnessed on that final feature. His name is Mike. I don't know if you two out top to the floor. Really? No one I was like, oh, good. No. Yeah. No, I was a bit like, but that's the only thing I can think of. Oh you know, yes, Evan! Oh. Damn! That's gotta take. That's a great. That was sick. Yeah, it was epic. Thanks, dude. Thanks. I'm stoked they like it. Oh. Think about how much higher I got scored from doing. That's two versus the back four. Yeah, brother. Well. Play one down. Down donkey. True. That was what we were talking about in practice. Yeah, exactly. So we both did it. One. Yeah, exactly. All right. Noted. Point taken. Yeah. It'll be sweet. It'll be sweet. 
I do feel like I, I do feel honestly like I've been marked down in both the rails and the jump section like a bit you know like <clears throat> particularly where they split up the points but it's all good it's part of the game innit but that, that's what I'm feeling right now so I just want to lace this one up really good again and do it for me you know because I'm pretty seriously happy with my skiing today but you know everyone's on it so tough jump to judge always alright then all together now <laughs> Went to an 83 now. He gets himself into the 90 Club, Luke. Whole different landscape, possibly, for that podium. Things could happen. Snaps to switch up top. Switch 270, 450 out, gets it. And will he change anything up in this section? Sticks with it, just carries a little bit higher onto the wall right here comes. The oh, oh no! Not even a scoring feature is that little loaf we like to call it, and he gets, I don't know if he got hung up or he just got, oh. that was bizarre. You just feel for these guys. The easiest I mean, part of his run. Day. Yeah, just. Yeah, boy! Yeah, that was, like a, that was a pretty heavy contest. It was amazing. I was so yeah. stoked. And to be honest, the second run on the rails, I just did the press two instead of the four. And as soon as I did it, I didn't think it was a problem. But as soon as I did it, I was like, I did a blind four last time. They're going to kill you for that. And then they killed me because the 16 wasn't capped. It's on 10, Tindy. Still looks so good. Thanks, man. But they marked you down. You went so big on that last run. On those jumps. It's all good. Yeah, but I can't. I'm so pumped for heaven. That was huge. It's fine now. To be fair, it was pretty flat light on that roll of it, just at the end there. I couldn't see anything. But, as far as today goes, I'm fired up on what I did. I think, like the way the day went, like my 16 on the second run was totally capped to blunt. And then the next one, wasn't right on the end, it was a Tindy. So I got marked down for that. It's fair enough, but it's, I think a bit harshly. And then the next, in the rails, I got, because I did switch two blind four, the first round, then the next round I did switch two pretz two. And it was funny, because that was what Evan and I were talking about. I was like, like it's like no difference really, like which one's which. But I think, because they saw me do the blind four, the run four, and then I did the front two, just used it as an excuse and I think like honestly like I missed out on a like I got docked hard on that so I'm a bit bummed but like I am bummed but as far as the skiing goes like that was sick and I was like I'm, I'm proud of that and proud of everybody else it was amazing I mean that's the everyone's been doing amazing but it's good I'll eat my second yogurt and chocolate bar, and then I'll be sweet. <laughs> it's a banging combination, honestly. Now it's all over your lens. <laughs> Do you not see me spit it everywhere? <laughs> I did. Pretty good. But, the Switch 12 was good. It was all good. I was very stoked on today. It just sometimes it just doesn't work out. Not to mention I've been feeling like puking this entire time. So I'm happy. This actually is not going to help my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind though.